Level five caribou. I have had so many attempts at these guys since I've been here. I've shot three level five. This, no, this will be the third level five caribou I've shot. And if it trolls me, I swear, I swear. Here we go. Whoa. It's another beautiful day in the Yukon. Hey, boy, you're wearing the same clothes. That's because I'm doing multiple episodes in a row in the same day. I don't just wear this shirt all the time, but I do wear this shirt all the time. But not not that way. I, I This is the same day. I'm, I'm doing multiple episodes in the same day. Where we left off was uh, we found a caribou with a tracker. It was eaten by wolves. There was a body hanging in a tree. The predator had been here, I'm assuming. Um, and then we heard word that there might be some uh, nerd wells up in this mine up here. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to go check out this mine and then uh, who knows what's going on. Um, I've been getting phone calls, but uh, I, it's the reception is bad out here. You would think they'd have like a, a cell phone tower on top of this mountain or something, but uh, unfortunately they don't. So who knows? Maybe the call will come through later on. But that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna find these uh, nerd wells that are uh, hanging out in these uh, mines up here, and uh, you know, tell them to go home because they're drunk. You know. Something like that. I don't know. We'll just, we'll find out when we get there, I suppose. Ooh, there's a lookout tower over here. We're gonna have to make up. We need to go that way, but we need to go get this lookout tower. Check this out. My God. Yukon, the mountains are so pretty. It is, it is really cool. The, I love this mountain like this. That is really cool. That mountain up there. All right, let's get this lookout tower real quick. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Pan around. Do the pan. Very nice. Okay, got the lookout tower here. That's good. Back to the mine. We're going back to the mine. Oh, yeah. Look at this place. This is awesome. I love some of the buildings that they put in this game. The buildings are still all locked up. It should be a quick search. Whoever was here has probably moved on, but I want to be certain. I understand. I understand, Jim. Take a look around the complex. My last inspection was six months ago, and all the buildings were secure. Let me know if you see anything suspicious. There's, there's wood everywhere around here, Jim. Super suspicious. Look at these chains, though. It's all chained up. Oh, rusty nails. Rusty nails. Tetanus shot. I just, I can, I can see it now. I'm gonna go get tetanus shot after I'm done here. There's a door. Really cool. Check it out. There's a door. Where's a door? I don't see a door. I see lots of closed doors. Oh, that door doesn't have chains on it. That door doesn't have chains on it. Not right here. This door should be locked. They must have found denim jeans inside. I don't know why they'd want to be in here anyway. I'm gonna get away from my bear. Film crew. The one I was telling you about. Gabriella Baden, I knew it. I said that in the last episode. Investigate the structure with the broken lock. I, I'm, I mean, I'm investigating it right now. I don't see anything. Box in here. Boarded up windows. Hey, that's. A, I literally thought that phone, the ringing, was coming from the living room. <laughs> I didn't expect this from a professional film crew. What possessed them to enter this building? I need mean, to Oh, fire! That phone you picked up is the only way I had of contacting them. So we're gonna have to track them down. Given their total lack of bushcraft or respect for their surroundings, it should hopefully be an easy trail to follow. Yeah, there's a fire over there. You've done a lot to help, but this is gonna need an officer on site just in case things get ugly. I'm on my way. The perfect shot. To your east, there's a column of smoke. It looks like it's coming from close to one of our lookouts. I told you they'd be easy to track. Let's catch up with them before they set the whole forest ablaze. Yeah. Yeah, we'll show them, Jim. Oh my god. This fire is going to burn down everything. Did they not see the Teton forest? Ugh. We found their camp. But where are they? Look at the mess around here. That's a freaking mess, Jim. Big has turned the place upside down. Oh, 
Take a look around their camp and see if there's anything that can tell us where they went. Well, this is a bloody pair of jeans. Douse it, will you? No pad. Hmm. Interior haunted mine. Explains a little bit about their trespassing. Oh God. Bigfoot bait. Uh, surely not. Not even the most ignorant townie would even consider baiting animals out here. Bigfoot bait. Looks a lot like dog food and steel donuts to me. That's exactly what Bigfoot eats. What's this? Notes on their show, maybe? Oh, it's a script. Wow. Why when people always disappear, there's just boots everywhere? Well, this don't lose their pants, lose their boots. People, but it doesn't help us find them. Oh! That was a scream. But I can't see anything. Get to the lookout. Maybe you'll see something that I can't. They're getting attacked by a bear! We've gotta go. Save them. We gotta save Baden. Here, coming out of the forest. You've got Jim's got them, everyone. We're okay. One of them is covered in blood. Oh god. Hey! Over here! Make your way to me! Get into the plane! Why did I end with a question mark? Get into the plane? Get into the the plane? Here's our lookout. Boosh. Bum 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 boom. Wow. 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 <sighs> Alright, we've made it to the lookout tower. There's a cabin down there. Everyone is on board. It looks like a bear attacked one of them. She needs a doctor right now. I can't wait around. We're taking off. I've got this. Heading back to base. We'll have a doctor standing by. Whoa! We can't have it lying around, attracting bears. That was crazy. Now we've got to go back to the camp and dismantle it. Okay. Whoa. Took me all day to put that freaking camp away? Chichiko. Chichiko. You have a lot of questions that you want to ask me, huh? Before you start, let me just give you the highlights. Okay. Baden's face and shoulder were pretty torn up. She took a swipe from a fully grown grizzly. Holy camole. Accidentally, or should I say, incidentally, bear sprayed her. <laughs> the spray likely saved her life, though. Could you imagine? Psh. And then pepper spray on top of that, or worse. So as well as spraying the bear, they shot it in the side. I've seen bears shrug off spray and even larger caliber rounds. So I'd say these guys are lucky it decided to run off instead of making it angrier. The bear's claws gave her some nasty head wounds, and it was able to sink its teeth into her shoulder before running off. She'll be out of it for a few days. I'll question her when doctors say she's ready. I have to say, you handled yesterday well, Chichiko. You kept a level head, even when things went off the rails. I've had rookie troopers under my care who would have struggled in the same scenario. It's entirely possible that you saved that film crew's lives. No way. Me? Not only did you help to solve a crime that led to us saving some woefully underprepared, um, let's just say explorers, shall we? You took care of the mess at the mine, and at their camp, too. It's not like this is the first big impact your work has had on the reserve. You helped us to quarantine a potentially devastating infestation of spruce bark beetles. You assisted with scientific research programs and helped us to safeguard Yukon Valley's... I know it might have seemed counterintuitive to hire a professional hunter when the plan was to protect Yukon Valley's wildlife. But I know that I made the right choice. Indeed, Jim. Your work out here will have far-reaching repercussions for not only the forests, plains, and lakes, but everything that lives here as well. 
and that includes me. At first, the plan was for you to take over a lot of my informal duties, the tasks that aren't officially part of my job, but are essential to the running of the reserve. Maintaining populations, containing threats, and gathering samples for scientific research. All great reasons for hiring a professional hunter. But I told you before that I was looking for someone who understands Yukon Valley. Someone I could trust to take care of it. The same, same way, way I, I do. Your recent time here has been a trial of sorts. Helping me to prepare the reserve for winter. I feel like the reserve is ready now. And that's largely thanks to your efforts. Same thanks, way, Jim. But she's delighted that you've had this effect on the reserve. In this past week, we've spent more time together than we had done in the entire previous month. <laughs> I love how part of this story is just understanding this guy's like romance life. I'm making plans to take Sandy and my girls on a trip somewhere nice. Oh, that's nice, Jim. What do you think? Beach, lake, skiing trip? I'll ask Sandy tonight when I get home. Well, seeing as you have lakes and you can go skiing here, you should probably go to a beach. But I'd like to invite you to stay on indefinitely, if you're interested. You'll be an old sourdough like me in no time. You betcha. I'm never leaving this place, ever. My name is Kayla Johnson. I'm guessing you probably know my name from online videos or blogs. No. I hear you're the new hunter around here. You go, you up for a challenge, harvest a wolf, so I know you're up to the task. Bro, don't even know. Don't even know how many wolves I've, I've dealt with. Okay, well, I mean, what you don't know, I guess, is that that's pretty much the entire main storyline of Yukon Valley. Um, up to now, like, we've just kind of been doing uh, most of the main missions. We've been doing, as as Jim said, we've been doing stuff with the beetle infestation, um, water samples going up into the Teton forest and, and dealing with planting uh, trees and stuff like that, finding the uh, tracking, the, the animals that were being tracked, and then helping out with, uh, you know, nerd wells, getting, getting into mines and uh, getting attacked by bears and whatnot. So... That's pretty much the entire storyline, um, and and now we're I mean we're pretty early on into the episode, and I'm thinking what we'll just do is some of these side missions um, that we also have, as well as just kind of hunting kind of the areas that I usually hunt here in the Yukon. I think that would be useful if I just kind of went around and showed you some of my favorite pl uh, places to hunt, and then you will be able to uh, kind of take what I do and then and, and use it for uh, for whatever you need um, in, in case you're looking for some places to uh, hunt in the Yukon maybe it will come in handy Ooh, ooh, there be bears over here what we got we got a level two female and what are you Level five male not anything to write home about but uh, we will We'll put some bears down, try to cull the population and get some good, uh, some new bears, hopefully. Honestly, just didn't want to chase after her along with. Caribou and a grizzly, they're hanging out, they're buddies. We got all these side missions. Things are popping up like crazy. I don't even know what's going on. There's another bear over there. Stop moving. We're good. They're very specific about where you cross on Yukon. It's one of the most annoying things about this map. Good gravy. What about here? Is this good? This doesn't look good either. All right, here's one bear down. Boom, boom. One bear down, let's go. Ooh, there's a marker here. Of course, Alaska has its own native Bigfoot legend. The Tornit. Wild men has its roots in native Alaskan folklore where a tornit broke a human prize kayak Attempt prompting the man to kill the torn out of vengeance and grief. It's said that ever since that killing, the torns have avoided human contact, explaining why reported sightings are so few and far between. Interesting. That is an interesting story. 
All right, our uh, our third grizzly we shot should be over here. There he is. Let's get him. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Man, we were just that far off. Didn't have enough penetration, honestly, to get the heart. Boop, boop, boop. Another grizzly bear. Another grizzly bear. And lastly, this one. We did get the heart. Good deal. Good deal. That's what I'd like to see, bro. Never did grab this outpost here, but as you can tell, where we are on the map here, once this ends here. I'm gonna look at the map here. This whole section down here, this whole line of river, and then going up all the way over here to this outpost even, um, tons of grizzly bear. I mean, grizzly bear, if you go during a, a, a grizzly bear drinking time, which honestly should probably be like a, a, a feeding time as well, kind of looking for fish or something like that and eating berries around the, the sides or something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, there are tons of grizzly bears around here. Another two that we just saw. So uh, if you're looking for a good spot to go grizzly hunting, this is uh one i mean it probably is the best spot in the game i mean honestly just go over to this uh river this river system and we just shot four so i mean this is going to be seven it's crazy there's so many bears around here oh there's two of them over there okay I think I missed that last one. It's a rat. Okay, well, got a few of them. All the caribou are still there. Crazy freaking caribou. Crazy caribos, what are they doing? Well, in spotting those darn caribou, we um, completed another objective to spot a few different caribou. Hoping that we can cross here. Though, it'll probably be the game to not let us cross here. Cause that's what Yukon does. They don't care about you. All right, grizzly bear number one. Boom. Now we need to find grizzly bear number two and number three. And there they both are. <laughs> one here and one over there. Level two female in the front lung there, the right lung. And then this guy I think is a level four male. Level four male, there we go, all done. We got yet another grizzly bear. All those caribou. <gasps> grizzly down. Grizzly down. Top notch. All right. Oh, God. This guy's going to float away from us. No. No. Don't float away. We got him. This was the weird one that had that really long palm out front. <laughs> nice. Whoa, whoa. What the heck, David? David, no. Don't do that. All right. Another one down. Harvest a caribou and pass the harvest check 100%. I think we can do that. Check out this weird dude over here. Look at how weird his antlers are. One really tall one, the other one's shorter. Whoa! No! We found a bunch of Harlequin ducks, and they're actually really close to this uh, lookout outpost over here. So I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this caribou, and then I'm going to go over to that outpost and uh, grab some stuff. Look at this. This is a weird one, man. 291. What a weirdo. Look at that. They even landed next to my decoys. How awesome is that? We're gonna get as close as we can to this these guys and then uh, just light them up. Ducks and geese shouldn't be affected by uh, hunting pressure. Got a few. A gold. Uh, Another gold. Give me all of the Harlequins.
Oh no. Okay, let's see about this one. This mission here, this is one that's been wanting to be done for a while. Travel to the Frontier Vista outpost. And we need to take a photograph of something while we're there. Oh man. Oh, we can go to the, the, the train, the train tracks. Check out the train tracks, everyone. Oh no. The beavers took away our train track tent. Look at that one, that's a big one. That's actually a, a pretty decent sized caribou over there. I'll just get destroyed by a train right now. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Get out of here, caribou. Get out of here, caribou. Well, we lost our train track tent, unfortunately. I'm sure if we land in that deep water there, we'll be absolutely fine, okay? Here we go. Geronimo! Whoa! <laughs> we totally missed that deep section. <laughs> Hunter Hino, you didn't jump at all. What the heck, man? Okay, well, we ended up where I wanted to end up anyway. Let's grab a four-wheeler and we'll go try to find that uh, caribou. Alrighty. Oh no, we ran over our caribou. <laughs> it's a really pretty looking caribou, but I bet it's smaller than what I'm hoping it is. Okay, let's check it out. It's a 395, actually. Which is pretty nice, but I bet it's only like 85%. 6 divided by 430.2 is 92%. So still not 95%, but a uh, cool looking caribou. That is a really pretty one. 3% off. 3% off from something we could taxidermize. Stay dead. Park right in the garage. All right, well, I mean, Jim's wife was correct. I mean, this is a pretty outpost, which we'll see here in uh, just a second. Oh, see that smoke start coming out of that chimney. Daddy's home. Let's go. Look out here. All right, as for this girl's uh, instructions, we got another one to spot a male and a female bison. All right, let's check out this mission. It says, um, where are you? There you are. Photograph the landscape from the Frontier Vista outpost with the bridge included. Okay. A little foggy, but you know, it'll do. Confirm the presence of caribou and bison within the Crimson Plains. Can you spot one of each for us? Oh, golly. Well, I'll tell you what, the Crimson Plains are actually one of my favorite places to hunt, so this is a good excuse to come out here and show you. There is an outpost on top of here, and there are two fantastic spots where I've found diamonds at each of them up here on the Crimson Plains. So uh, that's what we're going to do. And while we're here, we'll try to spot a caribou and a bison. A caribou and a... A horn, horny guy. <laughs> Here's a bunch of caribou. My God. Hey, no freaking way, man! And the wind's going straight at him. My God. Level five caribou. I have had so many attempts at these guys since I've been here. I've shot three level five. This, no, this will be the third level five caribou I've shot. And if it trolls me, I swear, I swear. Here we go. Drop, drop, drop. Yes. Let's go. Another level five caribou down. The rest of them just, they, they could... They don't even understand the situation, how dire the situation is. Still need to spot a bison, though. See what I mean, though? I told you, right when we came here, I was like, this is a great place to find caribou and bison. Did you listen? Did you listen? We'll let the rest of them go. With great power comes great responsibility. Who said it? Wasn't Gandalf. I know you were thinking Gandalf. It's not Gandalf. <laughs> All right, one Karibo down. Boop. Boop, indeed. Boop, indeed. 
There he is. Got him. And lastly, lastly, and most importantly, this dude. I don't know, man. It's gonna be close. If he's a diamond, I feel like it's just barely going to be a diamond. I mean, his front palms are not impressive. Clickbait, clickbait. Top notch. Okay, is he going to be a diamond though? That is the question. Let's see. It's gonna be a gold. I know it. It is a gold. 429.3. Oh my god. He's freaking 0.9 off from a diamond. I knew it was gonna be close. I knew that if he was a diamond, it was going to be so close because these front palms just don't look like a diamond. They just don't. Just not diamond quality and up top is okay, but it's not very stellar either. It was going to be close if this guy was a diamond. So close. Still going into the lodge though because he is within 95% uh, to 100%. So uh, top notch. Good looking caribou though. Third troll caribou here in the Yukon. But I do have diamond caribou in my lodge. So, you know, it's not like I've never gotten one before. But... Dang, third level five caribou. That is crazy that we keep running into them. Just still can't get a diamond. Let's uh let's go check out my last spot, okay? This is my my last spot for uh, good animals here on the Crimson Plains. There's actually another one that's decent down there, which we might check out if we don't find anything good up here, but we will see. Okay, so basically, if you're up here on the Crimson Plains and you run over to this spotting tower, what you're going to need to do at this point is turn your attention over to the west, I believe, and you will find this little lake down here and if you watch my uh, diamond bison video that should come out soon um this is where i got him actually this area down here and instead there's a bunch of caribou instead of bison because yeah that's what happens i guess where are you bison but yeah they'll usually be bison over here in these rocks as well as along this back side and sometimes over here in this farther uh farther right side okay let's get a few of these caribou All righty, here we go, caribou number one, caribou number two, and caribou number three. This guy was pretty wide. Anywho, um, yeah, didn't find any bison over here, which was so strange. Um, we're gonna need to go to another spot, I guess, to see if we can find any over there. And, uh, I will show you where that is right when I get there. Okay, well, we're coming along to the uh, third third area up here on the Crimson Plains. Um, and, yeah, we're already getting calls from bison, so at least we know that we're in the right area to uh, spot. We've already spotted the caribou for this mission, and we just need to spot one bison. So, uh, hopefully, we'll spot one and uh, figure out what the next part of the mission is. This is actually where I shot my uh, my first level five bison. And uh, just didn't end up being a diamond, but uh, it was over here in this lake. Harvest a female plains bison and a male plains bison. Okay. I suppose I could do that. There we go. Well, let's go find this uh, male and this female bison and then... Yeah, we might call it a day, everyone. Look at that, right next to each other. Let's go. All right, this should be our, it's our male, okay. Here's our male and our female. Oh God, they didn't, they didn't give us a, they didn't do the darn mission <laughs> for the harvest check and quick kill. Interesting, interesting. Anywho, I tell you what, um, I'm not sure what, what next mission we should be doing um we should go oh hello i can yeah i'm kind of um i'm out in the in the yukon right now it's kind of hard to hear you you're up in the mountains up in the mountains okay 
Remy, I really don't have time to talk to you. I know you're trying to do this whole thing. I know you're trying to do this. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Okay. I mean, I'm almost finished up here. If I'm I'm in North America right now. I'm up in the Yukon. I could I could go down to you. Yeah. Down in Colorado, you say. Okay. If you say so. All right. See you then. All right. Bye, Remy. Classic Remy Warren. Okay. Well, I tell you what. Um, if you don't know what we're talking about, then I don't know how to help you. But uh, seems we're going to be going down to Colorado to hunt some new things and help out um, around there. Can't wait to do so. Make sure that you're subscribed and you've liked the video. If you haven't already, tune in for the next episode, everyone. It's going to be pretty fun. And uh, I can't wait for it to happen so uh take care and as always remember everyone we're one planet one family game on